Hello everybody, today I have this 2015 Fraenar Cascadia. I'm going to be showing you how to replace the DEF filter. It is good to service the DEF filter every 150,000 miles because over the time it captures a lot of stuff that the DEF is contaminated with. So uh, it is good to replace it um, after 150,000 miles to keep the DEF pump healthy. Um, but I just want to mention then if for any reason you replace the DEF filter and you are st still getting codes about DEF uh, pressure low or conversion low or something like that, that could be then the DEF pump is bad. So if replacing the DEF uh, filter doesn't do anything to the problem that you have about the uh, DEF uh, low pressure, um, you will need to replace the DEF pump. Anyway, the DEF filter is located behind here, so I want to remove this cover just to get more access because this truck has that little lid on the byron, so it's really hard to access. So I want to remove this uh, fairing over here. I guess everybody knows how to remove this fairing, but I'm gonna explain it anyway. You only have to lift these things up and then pull the uh, fairing from out. After removing this uh, fairing, I'm gonna go underneath and go behind the tank because there is where the DF filter, I mean DF pump is. Okay, so the DF pump is located behind this plate. Here is the DF tank and here is the DF pump. It's underneath the truck, you see here is the transmission and here is the DF pump. So to access the filter, the filter is actually over here, here is the filter. So to access the filter, I have to remove this cover uh, by using a 15 millimeter socket. I'm gonna remove these two, and there is one on this side. So I'm gonna remove these three bolts to remove the cover completely. Okay, now we have access to the F pump. It is located okay here. So um, this is the DF filter with this housing. So now I'm gonna use a 45 millimeter socket to uh, loose this cap and remove the filter completely once the filter gets loose remember to place something to collect all the DF then you're gonna drop when you remove the filter completely okay here I have the DF filter here is the housing this is the way it comes uh, so I have the new filter kit over here, this is the part number of the uh, filter. This part number will be good for Fraganer Cascadias uh, from 2014 to 2016. I'm not sure it's going to be similar to the 17s, which are the newer Cascadias, but uh, this is going to be good for those uh, Cascadias. For older Cascadias you will need a different part number. The filter kit comes with the filter and the housing. This little rubber piece that goes in the housing and some lubricant over here. It is a weird lubricant, it is for Cummins, but... So here we have the housing and the filter. I'm gonna open it. So what I'm gonna do now is to place this little plastic um, rubber uh, insulator inside here but remember we have to remove the plastic before doing the installation once it's in now it's in it's, it has to be all the way down now I can safely place the filter in this way like this and that's all so these uh, filter in the housing are ready for installation so the new o-ring is already over here as you can see this is the new seal for the housing, the filter housing. So all you have to do is to apply some of this lubricant that comes with the kit. Uh, so I just wanna apply some lubricant around and in the orange over here. So I can have an easy time installing the, the uh, filter. And after adding the lubricant around the seals, this filter and the housing are ready for installation. Just the last thing before installing the filter is to check underneath for any component, any seal or anything stuck in this area. If there is any, just clean the area very well before installing the filter. 
So now to install the filter, all you have to do is to align this, insert it all the way, and then start rotating this, like this. And then I'm going to tighten it uh, and the bio. Now, after placing the filter back on place, I'm going to install the cover back and the bio. Okay, so this is all I'm going to show you about the DEF filter replacement on a Fragander Cascadia. This process is going to be a little different for older Cascadias because the filter it has a smaller housing but the basics are very similar how to replace it. It is located in the same uh, area in a different position but in the same area. Now after the DEF uh, filter replacement all you have to do is to clear the cuts or perform a region depending the type of cuts that you have active. So uh, that way the cuts will go away and you will check the DEF pressure or the problem that the truck was having uh, related to the DEF problems. So this is all I'm going to be showing you about the DEF filter replacement. If you have any questions, anything to add, any recommendations or something else you, you want to talk about, you can use the comment section below to share your own opinions, questions or any recommendations that you have uh, to do this job. If you like to support my channel, you can check the video description below where I have details where to send support to my channel so I can continue making healthy videos for everybody on the road or in the road shop or just for people that want to know more about trucks. Like, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.